What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, y'all. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86 TV. And if you got a breakdown or a prediction video you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Also, we got our live shows going every Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, 5.30 on the West Coast, 8.30 on the East Coast, and then also every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time um, with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. But let's get it popping. Let's get into today's video. And today, it's a breakdown and prediction day, man. It's a WBA title eliminator. We got Gilberto Zerto Ramirez versus Uneski Gonzalez for a title eliminator in the WBA. Let's get to it, man. Zerto Ramirez, Southpaw fighter, 30 years old out of Sinaloa, Mexico. Six foot two and a half um, with a 75 inch reach, 42 wins, no losses, none, ain't lost ever. With 28 victories coming by way of knockout, you got Uneski Gonzalez, 36 years old, fighting out of Cuba. Orthodox fighter, six, six foot tall, 21 wins, three losses, 17 knockouts, and uh, he's also been knocked out one time. Let's get to their fighting styles. Let's break this thing down. Uneski Gonzalez first throws in combinations. Um, has some good boxing skills, as most Cuban fighters do. Um, he is flat-footed, so he's looking to land for power and good, good leverage on his shots. That's why in 21 victories, he had, what, 17 knockouts, bro. So usually when he wins, he wins by knockout. Not a whole lot of his fights go to the card. Um, he doesn't have a lot of pivots, not a lot of angles. And I believe because of his hand speed, because of his feet, and because of his defense, it's a straight up and down um, you know, high guard defense, not a whole lot of head movement, not a whole lot of foot movement. Because of that, he can be outboxed if he's in there with somebody that's a little bit more athletic, a little bit more agile, um, that can really give him um, some issues. For Zerto Ramirez, straight dog, bro. <laughs> straight dog, straight savage. Like, listen, he applying the pressure to you, but he ain't a pressure. It's educated pressure. It's like it's a, a high level of, of skill in what he does with his boxing acumen and his boxing ability. Um, you know, nice jab. The straight left hand is nice. Digging down to the body in combinations is very, very nice. He's long. He's aggressive. He mean. Like, he gets you hurt, bro. He'll hit you in the same spot. His last stoppage, bro, he looked like he punched the dude kidney out of his body, bro. And he don't stop going to the body, too. He just... And he don't stop working. He don't get tired, bro. Zerto Ramirez is, is, and he defensively responsible, so he ain't just out here getting tagged up, you know, giving one to get one and all that shit. You know, like, he's just a good, 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 and possibly great fighter. You can't call him a great fighter simply because he ain't had the big fight yet. But as we said earlier in this fight, this is a title eliminator. So he working his way to... A Dimitri Bivol fight. That'll get him some credit. He working his way to a potential Alter Perturbier fight should he get by Dimitri Bivol. You know, he, he's working his way to, to, to setting himself in stone. He's only 30 years old, um, got 42 fights, had a very active career, and, um, you know, he's under Golden Boy Promotions. And I'm going to tell you this, Oscar De La Hoya putting his chips in the Virgil Ortiz basket, putting his chips in the Ryan Garcia basket, he need to take some of them chips and throw them on Zerto Ramirez, bro. I think that's his best bet at, at um creating another cash cow right now. That's his best bet at creating another superstar Mexican boxer right now is, is Zerto. In my opinion, he the goods, bro. <laughs> he the goods. Listen, pass the victory. Uneski Gonzalez, close your eyes like this. Bend your head down. Throw an overhand right. Hope that shit land and knock Zerto Ramirez out. No way he outboxes Zerto Ramirez. Zerto Ramirez is too active and too accurate. So he's going to be throwing more punches per round. He's going to be landing more punches per round. So you can't outbox him. And while, while you got good pop, bro, you got 17 knockouts and 21, 21 victories, 
He's just longer and bigger and stronger than you. Like you 36 years old. Now, we were just doing a Derek Chisora, Joseph Park, and I was like, yo, age matters at heavyweight, but not as much at the lower weight classes. At 175, though, at 175, you 36 years old, being 36 years old a step slower, that shit'll get you knocked out. Okay? That shit'll get you knocked out being 36 years old at light heavyweight, bro. Unless you just special. And no disrespect to Gonzalez, but he ain't special. So that's his shot. I don't think he can outbox Zerto at all. I don't think it'll happen. So close your eyes, throw an overhand right, see if you can hit Zerto on the chin, touch him with some shit to hurt him, and then finish him. For Zerto Ramirez, I, I hate to say it, it's honestly about looking good and showing dominance and growing your fan base. They're going to be on the zone. It's going to be a lot of people wanting to watch them fight. So just go in there and do you and put on a hell of a fire performance. And I think he'll be able to hurt Gonzalez. I just want to see him when he hurt him, smash the gas on his ass. So to me, this, this fight is more about when will Zerto win? That's the question because I already think Zerto going to beat the shit out of Gonzalez. I think Zerto Ramirez is going to beat the shit out of him, and I got him stopping him. I got him stopping him. Let me see what I think. I'm just thinking out right now. I, I, shit. Zerto going to stop him in round five? He going to stop him in round five. I think Gonzalez is the last longer than Zerto's last opponent. I'm going to give him that respect. But we only seven minutes in about, and we're going to end the video right here. I ain't got much else to say. Zerto just, he bigger than dude. He younger. He stronger. His boxing skills are way up to par, both offensively and defensively. He understands distance better than this guy. Um, his feet are much more fluid and agile, and he's more mobile. Um, he's just gonna put he's gonna put he's gonna put an ass whooping on, on Gonzalez, man, for lack of a better term. But y'all, let me know y'all thoughts. Comment down below. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction video you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Um, what else we got? We got our live shows every single Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. That'll be 5.30 on the West Coast and 8.30 on the East Coast. And then our other live show that we do with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. That's every Sunday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But I appreciate everybody watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.